incomplete dominance. The trend of recessive characters disappearing in first generation and then reappearing in next generation was perfect till the experiments were performed on pea plant. But using other traits in other plants led to failure of applicability of law of dominance in some cases. Such a deviation from law of dominance was called as incomplete dominance. When neither of the alleles of a character is completely dominant over the other and the F1 hybrid is intermediate between the two parents, the phenomena is called incomplete dominance. The inheritance of flower color in the dog flower, snapdragon or antirhinum SP, is a good example to understand incomplete dominance. In a cross between true breeding, red flowered, capital R, R, and true breeding, white flowered plants, small r, r, the F1, capital R, small r, was pink. When the F1 was self pollinated, the F2 resulted in the following ratio 1, capital R, r, red, is to 2, capital R small r pink is to 1 small r r white here appearance of pink flower seemed as if the two homozygous conditions were blended together like plant in the cross capital R was not completely dominant over small r and this made it possible to distinguish capital R small r as pink from capital R r red and small r r white. In this case, the actual flower color phenotype probably results from varying amounts of production of the red pigment. The homozygous red plant produces a lot of the pigment. The homozygous white plant produces none of the pigment. And the heterozygote produces half as much as the homozygous red. When chickens with splashed white feathers are crossed with black feathered birds, their offspring are all slate blue. When blue chickens are crossed among themselves, they produce splashed white, blue and black offspring in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 due to incomplete dominance. This dominance and recessive traits can be best understood when we know what exactly a gene does. Every gene contains the information to express a particular trait. In a diploid organism, there are two copies of each gene, that is, as a pair of alleles. Now, these two alleles may not be similar as in heterozygotes. One of these alleles may have undergone some changes which modifies the information that particular allele contains. Let us take an example of a gene that contains the information for producing an enzyme. There will be two allelic forms responsible for production of the enzyme. Let us assume the normal allele produces the normal enzyme, but the modified allele could be responsible for production of the normal, less efficient enzyme or a non-functional enzyme or no enzyme at all.